Hello there everyone and welcome to another full reveal video. This time I'll be looking through the July 2018 stencil release from Altenew. First up we have Spring Garden stencil. So this is a beautiful 6x6 stencil and you can see that it has lots of leaves and little tulips in there as well. This is a great one for creating beautiful floral backgrounds here. I've just used the stencil to ink through. I've used a couple of shades of ink and then took a black fine line pen and doodled around the images to create this fun background. Next up we have Mega Hydrangea Stencil. This is a beautiful, again, 6x6 stencil and it has lots of beautiful hydrangea flowers and you can see that you can use these in many different ways. Here I've just used it, popped it onto a piece of cardstock and inked through it to get beautiful effects with the blending of the inks. Next up we have Elegant Swirls Stencil. This is a beautiful, again, 6x6 stencil and it has lots of different swirls on here. You can use this to create really great backgrounds and even subtle ones as well. I've just used some white embossing paste on the back of this one just to add a little bit of an interest to the background. Next up we have Molded Lines Stencil. This is a great one. The lines go from thin to thicker at the edges and it creates kind of like a rainbow effect. So you can use this to create rainbows if you want to. Here I've just used a, it subtly behind some flowers. Next up we have Calligraphy Maze Stencil. So this is a great one for adding these fun effects to the back of your cards or even scrapbook pages if you would want to. I've just used it simply by masking around the edges to create a little bit more detail in the center of my card and having this more as the focal point rather than a background. Next up we have Flowing Drops Stencil. This is a really, really pretty one. You could definitely um, doodle inside of these to create more of a paisley look if you wanted to. Here I've just used it on a background with some pearlescent embossing paste to add a lot of shine to that. Um, simple ombre background that's underneath it. Next up we do have the Aztec Motif stencil. This is a really great one. This is a great one to use on scrapbook pages as well as cards and other home decor items. And you, if you use small blending tools you can add different colours inks to the different parts of the stencil. I have used this twice by flipping it over and just using the top part again to create more of a continuous look on this one. Next up we have Step Builder Stencil. This is one of our builder stencils. So you can use it once then flip it over to create a beautiful background effect. As you can see it gives you a really 3D look when you do use it. I've used it twice. I've done it once with the darker ink, flipped it over and then used it with the lighter ink to create this effect that I have here. Next up we have Feeling Dotty Stencils. This is a great one if you do love polka dots. So you can use this one to create polka dot backgrounds on your cards. But if you wanted a more fuller look, you can actually slide it over a little bit and the dots actually fit in within the spaces to give you a more concentrated look of the dots. I've just used it once here and created more of a um, rainbow theme here. Last but not least, we have City Scene Stencil. So this is, has two parts to the stencil. It has a top and a bottom. So you can use both parts. And here we go. I've used it four times. So I've used it once, turned it around, used the other side. Then I flipped it over and then used the other sides again to create this really cool, full looking scene. So that's our complete July 2018 stencil release. We really do hope that you've seen something that inspires you and makes you want to create. If you want to watch any videos, there are a couple here that you could watch if you wanted to. If you don't want to miss out on anything that we do upload to the channel, it would be great to, if you do subscribe. See you really soon. Bye-bye.